Welcome back to the 11th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio. And last time we did this neat little hover over effect of our pickup weapon. And today we're gonna pick it up. So basically, we're just gonna equip it. So right mouse button. And then, as you can see, now we have this additional sprite just basically attached to it over the regular walking sprite and of course we have a second one which is then for the knife i just have two sprites so these are just dummies so one for ranged and one for well the melee weapons as you can see no difference here just one sprite and of course then uh, the next one will we be uh, throwing the weapons around but let's dive into the good stuff without long introduction this is one up in the hello subscribe share and like that would be sweet of course so let's go into our project and here we're not gonna do too much basically so we have our nice little sprite which we used for the players so for walking so basically this guy here and now we're gonna do a similar one which is then used for, for, for example, for our gun and for our knife. So let's put that in. And of course, this is not how we can import them. So basically, we just say like R and uh, gun. And then, of course, make it 54 by 54. This, I have very, very weird things. As you can see, this is just an overlay. So we're going to use um, both of them for just uh, overlaying the image so strip and the knife this will be for all our melee weapons sweet so let's get rid of all that stuff and of course middle center because they need to be aligned correctly like the other ones so let's close all that sweet and then first thing we need to equip it so let's go into our player and here we just introduce one little variable, nothing too fancy in my opinion. We just call it weapon sprite. And this weapon sprite, we gonna, for example, we can actually attach one directly, but let's go and create actually uh, a sprite which is empty. So SPR empty, because maybe he hasn't, he's not holding any kind of weapon. So here we go. This is our empty sprite fantastic i know and what we can do we just attach it at the very beginning and what we're going to do we just copy paste let's say uh, this whole code so basically and then just use this variable to control what kind of sprite we are drawing over our player and basically we just copy all that stuff because it's basically the same there's no difference in here Let's see if there are any differences. That's player. No, let's go into sprites. Just a quick check from my side. What kind of animation speed we are having? Eight. All right. So let's give uh, the same to these guys here. Let's go for eight. Here we go. So we are in sync because this would, I guess, look kind of silly if they have different kind of animation speeds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically this little thing is drawing over. For now, there is nothing going on. As you can see, um, I could actually start it. It wouldn't change a thing because we are just drawing an empty sprite over that stuff. So there is no difference, as you can see. And well, we cannot do anything. So let's get rid of that for now and change a little bit our object player because in our step event, we use the right mouse button for the zooming part. Now we're going to take this one out. So basically we just say uh, keyboard, then check, pressed, yes, check pressed, uh, check released because actually we want to release, press check released, check pressed, let's go for, yeah, pressed. This is actually uh, just check. Sorry, my bad. Just and then VK. What was it? Shift. So that was the, the button which we want to use. Now copy paste that in here. 
no arrow sweet so basically this is what we want to do later on we're going to use the right mouse button for throwing also so therefore i just quickly uh, change that we can kick out the player because he's not needed anymore and make a little bit of order so basically all that stuff all the sprites are nice but we don't need to see them so let's go into and put them into player and they are gone sweet and now we just have our object pickup weapon left and what we're going to do is fairly easy so we just have a collision with our player and this is the good part because the player is the only one who can actually pick up all that stuff so therefore we can uh, safely do this under one uh, object or the instance of the object player and here we're gonna do a very quick check which is kind of easy so we just say like hey what kind of sprite are you holding so if you remembered oh did i yes i did so if you remembered i gave those guys here a simple sprite yeah zooming doesn't work sweet as you can see i give them a specific sprite index and this one we're gonna check and say like hey what kind of sprite index are you actually having equipped so basically what is set in here and then depending what kind of sprite it is we can use this one and define what kind of uh, overlay we want to give to the player uh, sprites gameplay no player here we go so for example if it's for example the pistol so case we uh, have pistol break of course never forget that then we say that hmm, the um, weapon sprite here we go of our player is then for example the one of the character gun and then we just set it here boom and then of course we cannot use it like this because we want to access uh, the thing which we are colliding with which is the player so therefore we just say other because this is the other thing and then we are accessing the other thing which we are colliding with and then setting the sprite to this one and of course let's copy paste that because make life easy and we're gonna do the same part just basically just with all the combinations so basically hey what uh knife is not correct here we go and then we just send like hey for the melee weapons take this specific um, sprite for our overlaying the for the player and for the other ones well take the this sprite uh, for well for all the guns of course it would make sense to have for all the specific guns different kind of sprites but i was a little bit lazy so therefore these are just dummies and then we just set the sprite and this is just basically it and after we did this little part we need to get rid of the pickup because hey now it is being picked up and it must go so we say instance destroy here we go and let's check it out in real life and then for example when we walk over boom it is gone as you can see now we have our uh, other sprite attached to it and then boom the other one and here we come to a little thing because sometimes maybe you don't want to pick up the weapon which is lying on the floor and therefore what we're gonna do is just say like hey have i actually released my right mouse button so we can just instantly do do this here and encode it and just say like hey have i released the right mouse button then swap the uh, weapon to the one which is there so therefore we can actually use this as you can see now for example now we are pressing shift this is what we changed before and then for example we are walking nothing is happening but if i press my right mouse button boom we have our weapon equipped and of course here the melee one and how long are we in let's check it out nine minutes yeah let's make a pause here and then i'll see you in the next video tutorial tomorrow have a good one one up indie